Hello everyone, welcome to Code Design. This is the sixth video of the series for graph algorithms for competitive programming. And in this video, I'm going to talk about flawed Gaussian algorithm. And this is actually very standard algorithm. Uh, I don't have, I have very little doubt that if you are here and you are not knowing about flawed flawed Gaussian. But uh, okay, this is actually pretty simple. Uh, just like what we did for Bellman Ford, uh, we are repeating the same thing for ever, all the other nodes. So this is basically an all pair shortest path algorithm. So all pair shortest paths. Okay. So we have to store the, the answer in a matrix and uh, we will get the answer for all the nodes. And this can also detect negative cycles. It can work for, uh, for negative edges also. So basically everything just that the runtime is big of n cube. So quite slow. We are doing the Bellman four for, for every vertex. So obviously it will be slow, but uh, that is the only algorithm that we have. So if you want to calculate all pair shortest part, this is algorithm to go, to go for. Okay. Now let's see the, uh, let's see a problem based on this algorithm. And uh, I think this will be a very quick video. Okay. So the problem is shortest routes to from uh, the CACS problem set. There are N cities, M roads between them. Your task is to process two queries where you want to determine the length of the shortest route between any two given cities. So what we can do is we can use flood, flood version to first store the uh, uh, all pair shortest path in, a, in the form of matrix and then we can query this. So let's see the code directly. Okay, so first I take the uh, NMQ and then store it in, the, in, it in a vector. So this is, I, in this case I am using the matrix representation. Now for I in range N, uh, I am setting the, okay, let the distances of I comma I. So the distances from one vertex to itself will obviously be zero. Then I am taking the input and this, in, in this, uh, and in this case I am using that zero based indexing. So I am setting the uh, distances like this. Obviously the distance will be the minimum. Uh, because if the distance is repeat, then I have to set it to minimum. Yeah. And then this is the flood version with the big O of n cube loop. So the same standard stuff. Uh, just like this. I mean, this much is the Bellman Ford loop, right? And if you do it for one more time for all the n vertices, it becomes the flood version. Now, just take the uh, input u and v, and then we can simply print the distances. Yeah, so I hope you were able to understand this. Uh, I know it was a quick video and now let's move to the next concept. Thank you.